Hey yo, it's almost 7 a.m. here. Uh, I've got my coffee. If I sound a little sleepy, that's why. <laughs> I don't know why, but I woke up and felt really inspired to make this video. So in this video, I want to teach you how to create a custom skin. And no, not with the Bedrock Condition Character Creator. I mean a truly custom skin. This method will only work on a few devices, so this video is basically for the PC players only. Sorry, Xbox. It may be a little complicated for some viewers as well, but stick with me, we'll get through this. Firstly, you will need an image editor. You can use Microsoft Paint or Photoshop, anything will do. Personally, I'm using GIMP, which is a 100% free software that has a lot of things in common with Photoshop. Their official website is GIMP.org. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, I just started using their software and think it's brilliant for the price. Okay, so now I'm inside the GIMP software and the first thing I need to do is open a file. Now the default size for skins is going to be 64 by 64 pixels. It must be this size unless you play on Bedrock Edition, in which case you have the option of going 128 by 128 for HD skins. Transparency for the base layer is also exclusively on Bedrock. So to start out, I usually open an existing skin to use as a template because trying to do it completely from scratch is significantly more difficult. Today I'll be using a 128 by 128 Steve skin that I found online. Uh, the second thing you want to do is refer to a guide image like this one. They can be found easily on Google. I'll put a link to everything I'm using below in the description for you. So what you do next really depends on what you would like to create. Today I think I will create a cow skin because that's something that's fun and simple and my friend really loves cows. So from here onward this video is going to be really unscripted. I'm just basically going to create a skin and let you watch. I hope you can learn something from this. So in GIMP you can zoom in and out by using control and then your mouse wheel. Alright, so the first thing that I want to do is get rid of this old uh, template because I'm just using this as a template. I don't want any of this to remain in my actual skin. And now, as a general rule, I never really delete anything, I just copy and hide. So to do that, we're going to, first of all, click up top and get uh, your layers window. And then click the base layer right here. And then you're going to hold down Alt and click, and it's going to select it. And then you're going to hit Control c Control v And that's going to copy it. And then you're going to hit this little checkbox down here. And what that's done is created a duplicate of this layer. So now you're going to hide the original below layer like this and you're good to go. Now after that, I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to alt click again to select it. Create a new layer. OK, copy. And then I'm going to fill this in white. So I don't really need this layer here, but I'm going to keep it anyway. And so then I'm going to hide that as well. And so now I've just got this white box right here and that's because I'm making a cow so that's going to be the color that's basically underlying it and so now I can still see his face though so if I want I can make this transparent and now I can still see where things need to go essentially and so I'm going to create a new layer on top of this and now I'm going to add the cow's face to start with and so I'm going to go ahead and actually open and import a cow image of the actual Minecraft cow texture. And then I'm going to make this pink. Yeah, that'll work. Fill that in. Then cut the corners out. And then create a new layer on top of that. The slightly lighter pigment cut the corners off this one I'm gonna start going a little faster now and then here's a trick for you when you're doing skins for Minecraft the noise filter is going to be your best friend see what you do is you lower this you lower this and then you just mess with the lightness ever so slightly and it adds a bit of texture and really makes them look a lot better and so I tend to do that to everything that I make. Okay, now for this, what I wanna do is I'm going to take this top part right here, and I'm gonna move it down into the part that hangs over the face. And so if you refer to the guide again, you can see where that needs to go, which is basically the other side of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to duplicate this layer 
and also duplicate this one and then merge it down and then hide the originals and then move this over and what I'm doing is I'm creating a guide for myself so that I can see where this needs to go yeah so it looks like it should be about right here so now I can take the actual one and move it over to where it needs to be now get rid of my guide and now that should actually be this part is going to be on top of this part with a little bit of depth so it will look like the cow actually has a protruding snout which that's really good for this and so then I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to make this uh, a lot more transparent and again I'm not going to delete anything and I always like to save my progress so I create new layers and hide the old ones I'm going to take this and I'm going to add noise I want to get rid of this I'm going to get rid of this I'm going to lower the lightness mess with this part oh see now this is pure white so it's it's having a hard time making this look good there we go that'll do I suppose I'm going to add the black spots in a moment and see now let's go ahead and do the eyes add this Create a new layer, fill this in black, and then on top of this, create a new layer. We're gonna oh and by the way, once you create one of these boxes, you can control you can hold shift to create a second one at the same time. Use the paint tool, fill this in gray, and add some noise to it. Now you can't really see the cow's eyes because <laughs> it's so white I'm not sure how to remedy that I could add some black spot spots to the face that would do it I'm gonna go ahead and make the ears now uh, uh, uh. And now it's pretty obvious you can see this is this side of the face this is this side of the face now we only need to make one ear and then we can copy it um is that what a cow ear is shaped like <laughs> Sure, I suppose. Copy that, and then I'm going to go up to Tools, Transform, Flip, move it across to the other side. Okay, that should be perfect. I think the next thing that I should do is add the spots, hooves, and the udder. So let's go ahead and go down over here to the body front I'm just gonna be this part right here and I'm gonna add I need a new layer there we go add in the udder hopefully this is on in the correct location there's always gonna be a lot of trial and error with this that's okay it's okay to, to mess it up initially noise I'm gonna add some more noise to that now I'm gonna create another layer I'm going to add in the udders. <laughs> Lighter, but also more vibrant. And then what we're going to do with these are we're going to move them down to the protruding section down here. All right. Time to add some uh, hooves and spots. All right, I've got some spots here. Let's go ahead and oop, let's go ahead and add some noise to these. Okay, so now here we've got a very basic cow skin, and so to test out the image, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to save it. I'm calling it Cow. And then I'm going to go to Export As Cow.png, and you want to make two copies of this document. There's going to be the version that you can edit, and then there's going to be the PNG version that Minecraft will accept as the skin. 
and so then you're going to open up Minecraft and now you're going to go to profile edit character go to this tab classic skins owned and click on where it says import and then click on choose new skin and you're going to go here to where you want where your skin is and click on your skin the PNG version and click OK and then it's going to give you the option of if you want skinny or fat arms um, I don't remember which one I set this up for I'll go skinny okay and there's the skin that I created um okay it's not perfect <laughs> yeah looks like it needs a little bit of work um, a lot of trial and error to get it perfect this udder needs to be aligned properly and I could probably put some more spots on the back but that's basically how you create a skin and then you would do this over and over and keep testing it as you adjust it to get everything proper looking you know move this to this right a smidge move that to the left um, I'm just really sloppy. I don't know. I'm sure you could be more efficient than me, but that's basically how I create uh, custom skins. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned a lot from it. Uh, yeah, here's a cow person. All right. Peace out.